While I was doing the Scarlet Pimpernel, I got the idea to turn Fanny Hill, the world's dirtiest book with 35 lurid sex scenes, even by today's standards, into a musical comedy. <laughs> Not the most obvious idea on the surface of things, but I'd no sooner finished the first draft than it got booked into good speed musicals in Connecticut. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> and then Paper Mill, Theater in New Jersey mounted a gigantic workshop of it starring Kristen Chenoweth, and then the York Theater in Manhattan mounted a full production starring the fabulous Nancy Anderson. <laughs> now, <clears throat> Nancy got a Drama Desk nomination for Best Performance by a Leading Lady in a musical, and I can tell you, she never put a foot wrong in spite of the fact that she was in every scene and sang every song. However, during the rehearsal process, we were having the first orchestral read-through, and Nancy got called away to do some publicity at the very moment that her big second act song had come up. So unthinkingly, I stepped up to the microphone just to keep the ball rolling. Now, I was very aware at this point in my life that anything you write is autobiographical, but I had been writing so specifically for Fanny Hill and her problem in the second act being that she had betrayed herself utterly, that somehow it just never occurred to me that I might have drawn the inspiration for this song from the well which I dug during my time at Les Miserables. I had this realization in front of the entire orchestra, cast, and crew of Fanny Hill, with the exception of Nancy Anderson. <laughs> It went something like this. <laughs> honor lost. So this is honor lost. I had no idea that one day I'd be a woman degraded, my dignity traded for money, just for biscuits and honey. It's really quite funny. When I think of the price for some lentils and rice, just my honor, just my sense of inclusion, only honor and some shattered illusion to give up what I held in no special regard. So I'm really not felled, it's really not hard. Not really. Yes, it's actually not too great a cost. It's just my honor. Lost. If I knew the things I'd come to do, I might have reflected or even protected what I neglected to care for, and therefore I sever what is lost now forever. Thought I was clever, and I suddenly find I'm relieved of my mind and my honor, though I hardly can feel it. Think you could steal it, let alone to reveal it. I suppose I remain with a bit of a stain, but there's not too much pain, and I never was vain. Not really. So it's only a line that once I crossed. It's only honor. Lord.